This is the Salton Sea, California's biggest lake, vanishing before our eyes. It's shrinking, turning toxic, and choking nearby communities with dust. So why is it dying? Why isn't anyone stopping it? And what can we actually do instead of chasing a lost cause? Stick around. This story has been ignored for too long. Because here's the hard truth. Even if the water could save it, there's none left to give. Once the Salton Sea was the California Riviera. A freak accident of engineering turned into a booming tourist destination. Today, it's a wasteland. And while people keep talking about saving it, they're missing the point. This lake was never supposed to exist in the first place, and trying to bring it back is a fantasy. In 2003, the Quantification Settlement Agreement cut off much of the water that used to flow here. Imperial Valley's farmland was sending runoff into the lake, but that water was redirected to cities like San Diego. At the same time, the Colorado River, this region's lifeline, is running dry over promise to too many cities and states. If you think we can just add water back to save the Salton Sea, think again. There is no extra water, none. The demand is too high and this lake is at the bottom of the priority list. And as the water disappears, the real nightmare begins. The exposed lake bed is releasing arsenic, pesticides and other toxic dust into the air. The people living here, mostly low income and overlooked, are paying the price with skyrocketing asthma rates and lung disease. Dead fish, dying birds, entire communities abandoned. This isn't just an environmental disaster, it's a public health crisis. So what's being done? Not enough. The state throws out band-aid solutions dust control projects, wetlands, tiny mitigation efforts, but let's be real. These aren't solutions. Billions of dollars are being promised, but the only thing that would truly restore the lake is water, and that's not coming. The sooner we accept that, the sooner we can stop wasting time and money on false hope. Some people push the idea of importing seawater building a canal from the Pacific or the Sea of Cortez to refill the Salton Sea. Sounds like a fix, right? Wrong. This is a closed basin. Water only leaves by evaporation, meaning all that salt stays behind. Pumping in seawater would only make things worse, increasing the salt concentration even faster. What's left of the lake would become an even deadlier brine, killing the few fish that remain wiping out any bird life still hanging on and turning this place into an even more toxic wasteland. It's not a solution, it's a death sentence. Now there's a lot of talk about lithium mining, California's so-called lithium valley. Some say it'll bring jobs and economic growth, but don't mistake it for a silver bullet. Lithium extraction needs water too, and any profits from it won't magically bring the sea back. If anything, it's a sign of where things are heading, away from the idea of saving the lake and toward figuring out how to live without it. Here's the uncomfortable truth. The Salton Sea isn't coming back. It's not about if it will dry up. It's happening and clinging to the idea that more water is the answer? That's a distraction. The real question is how we deal with the consequences before they get even worse. There are actual, realistic solutions, ones that don't involve waiting for a miracle. Covering the exposed lake bed with gravel or plants to trap toxic dust? That's doable. Expanding solar farms in the dry areas instead of letting them turn into health hazards? Makes sense. Redirecting lithium profits to help local communities instead of big investors. That's a fight worth having. The key is shifting from trying to save a lake that was never supposed to exist to making sure what's left isn't a catastrophe. The Salton Sea is a warning. A warning about water scarcity. 
bad planning, and what happens when we ignore environmental disasters until it's too late. It's time to stop pretending this place can be saved. It's time to focus on the people who still live here and what can actually be done. Let's stop chasing the past and start dealing with reality. What are some of the ideas you have that might help contain the dust? Leave your ideas in the comments. Subscribe to our channel to explore the wonders of desert life. From its wild landscapes and wildlife to the vibrant communities that call it home.